You know, the backbone of this ministry has always been the dedicated people who have come alongside David's vision to reach Canada, many of whom you rarely get to meet. That's what I love about this week. You're getting to meet them all. I'm delighted today to introduce you to George McEachern, who was a longtime producer with this ministry, also my boss, <laughs> working alongside David almost from the beginning, George, 37 yeah. years. Mm -hmm. That is a long time. We have a great picture of you. we got to start with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. A yeah, great yeah, picture sure. of you. Your hair's a different color there. Yeah. Yeah, you could say <laughs> Huntley Street made me go gray, I suppose. <laughs> But I love this picture, Cheryl, because it's probably about a year in for me, starting with Huntley Street, having come from global television. And, but I got dramatically saved in, in 76. And the Lord got a hold of my life. And I wanted to be a pastor, I thought. Mm. And then I ended up here. And about a year in, I said to David, I don't know whether I made the right decision. And I, I, I think I should go to be a pastor. He said, here's what he said, Cheryl. Don't you worry about that, George. We're going to pass to the nation of Canada over the airwaves. And every day when he came into the studio, he'd prayer that Ephesians 6, where he would say, we don't battle against flesh and blood and powers, darkness in the airwaves. Yeah, that's what we battle. So we're going to take the airwaves today, George, and we're going to pray and put the gospel over the airwaves. Mm. I thought, wow, what a wonderful way to looking at pastoring. <laughs> and uh, yeah. You guys did that for you know, almost 40 years, almost four decades. Together, praying one for another. The foundation was prayer for sure, no question. You know, they say leadership is more about influence and authority. And David had an incredible impact on your life. That friendship, he was your mentor. You know, yeah. it even launched a ministry in your life. Tell me a little bit about what it was like to work with him and your great memories. Well, it was, it was demanding, as a lot of visionary people are demanding. But when you're connected in the spirit and the cause, which was winning people to Christ, uh, it was well worth it. Mm. And so there's much more reward. I mean, my life and our family's life was shaped by David Maines for wow. the good. And so, um, you know, his, his, his whole reason for doing television was personal stories, personal salvation stories. Mm -hmm. And it didn't matter how, how bad you had gone. Ernie Hollins, one of the great guests of 100 Huntley Street, and David loved Ernie, but what he loved about Ernie was what God did in Ernie's life, mm. how he transformed his life. And you know, sir, I've been doing prison ministry for about 25 years, and to this day, you still see David Maines' book in there, Ernie Holland's book, Hooked in the, in the uh, Correctional Facilities. And the guy's watching 100 Huntley Street because it offers them hope. And that is why we were doing 100 Huntley Street, to offer those hope of salvation and to live a good life, an abundant life for Jesus. Ernie Holland's one of Canada's most wanted criminals yes. and launched your prison ministry. Amazing. Yeah, and it inspired me to go into the, in the, the correctional facilities. Yeah. One of the things yeah. you and I both loved about David, because we're news junkies, is yeah. that he spoke into what's happening in Canada and the culture. Yes. You know, tell me about how that impacted you, seeing him kind of, you know, speak God into what's happening. Yeah, in I love that, where he would always have, and Lorna Dewitt played a big role in this as well yes. back then when she came and, and taking the issues of today and how does our faith speak into it and David loved Canada he was passionate about Canada he was. and uh, he helped me to love Canada and I remember back in 1995 the referendum the Quebec referendum and David being born in Quebec I know that gripped his heart it was a heartache moment for him and I remember as we always did with Huntley Street on critical issues we put specials together and so we were on the Plains of Abraham in that 1995, and there he is with a Norman, uh, uh, no, Raymond Don, what's his name? Andre, Andre, yeah. Both voting differently and believing in democracy, but believing that God was in control. And there they were, brothers in Christ, uh, sharing a glove, actually. But the thing about David, he was able to address the critical issues of 9-11, 9-11. He, we just went full You were live on the air when that live happened. Live on the air. So he was a man of the gospel, but a man of concern and smart about what was going on in the world. Yeah. I always thought he could have been a politician. He could have been a MP. He could have been a prime minister. Absolutely. He had that kind of personal charisma. Absolutely. But he decided to give it all to bring people yeah. into relationship yeah. with Christ. And, and that, I know, was your passion as well. Absolutely. And just in closing, I just want to say, I, I was thinking of David. He lived his life out in a Matthew 25. I was hungry. We fed them. Our world relief. Thirsty. 
thirsty for the gospel. Mm -hmm. uh, he visited those who were sick, the prisoner. Like David lived his life out in a Matthew 25 scenario. And we've seen it personally, and it's been a, just an absolute privilege to have worked alongside of him. Well, thanks for coming yeah. in today to share Thank your you, reflections, Cheryl. George. It's great to have you back. Come back anytime. Thank you. <laughs> Bless you.